644 has been information spreading around social media. It's had people, some folks, thinking twice about putting on a mask. Yeah, is it really true that wearing masks increases your risk for carbon dioxide poisoning? We want to bring in health reporter Haley Hernandez. She's putting those claims up to the trust index to get you the right information. So it's a good question, Haley. Yeah, guys, and I've seen all of the claims, including people have fainted wearing them. They're, you know, not getting proper oxygen. So I went to find out whether or not that's true. And this is what we found when we put the claims up to the trust index. First, think of this. Healthcare workers' shifts are on average about 12 hours, and they wear masks all day long. So any claims that masks can kill are just bogus. But can it increase carbon dioxide you breathe in? We put it through the Trust Index and found wearing a regular cloth or surgical mask will not increase CO2 levels, so that's false. Infectious disease specialist with UT Health, Dr. Rodrigo Hasbun, says the only exception for someone would be people with lung disease like emphysema or COPD, specifically, they should not wear an N95 mask. But he says nobody outside of healthcare workers needs to be wearing an N95 mask anyway. Surgical masks or cloth masks are definitely preferred because they're more comfortable and there's you can have some air coming in and out instead of the N95 that's really more tight and can give you more sensation uh, that you're being asphyxiated by the mask, you know. But in reality, studies in healthy healthcare workers show that there's no increased levels of CO2. I spoke to psychologist William Orm from Houston Methodist about why people do have feelings of restriction or panic while wearing masks. And he says it's possible it's more because of anxiety and not due to oxygen levels. It's still important to follow the guidelines. So I would think about how, what are ways that we can manage those symptom, symptoms of anxiety? What are the ways that we can manage panic? Is there anything that can make that experience more tolerable for uh, you? Yeah, because our it trust index finds that those claims are not true. And Dr. Hasbun says it's actually more important now than ever to practice social distancing and continue wearing masks because, as you know, businesses are going to reopen, um, but the cases in our area are not declining yet.